Hello there. I'm going to show you how to quickly get online and set up with Aptivo's CRM system. So, the first step to getting started is to create an account. So, over on the pricing page, we'll get a list of the different plans available, and we can select which plan is right for us. Now, if you select one of the paid plans, there is a free trial, so we can actually just type in our email, and we'll be able to sign up with no credit card or anything like that. Now, as soon as we type in our email and password, we'll be able to type in the business name, and here we just got to select our time zone, and then we can move on. So now that the business is created, it's as simple as picking the CRM bundle and saying we're done. And now it's going to take us straight into the CRM setup wizard. So this shows us the four primary apps of the CRM system. And uh, this is where I want to explain a little bit. So you have these four apps. And the most important ones are for your business contact management. So that's the customers and the contacts. And the first question to ask is, what type of business are you? Are you customer-centric or are you contact-centric? And a really uh, simple way to figure this out is, do you have any accounts that you bill to, meaning somebody you would invoice, where you potentially deal with multiple different people for that account? So for example, if you deal with the CEO and the project manager of a company, then you need a customer-centric system so you can manage the difference between these individuals and the business. Versus if you deal with 100% individuals who just buy your product one time, like an e-commerce website, then you will just need a contact-centric system, in which case you don't have to really differentiate between the account and the individual person. Now, unrelated to those, we have the leads and the opportunities, which are your potential sales deals. And these work directly with the other two apps to help you stay on top of every deal you have in the pipeline and assure that you can close as many as possible. So what we'll do here is it's going to basically take us through all the different configuration settings of every app. Now, every app in the system has its own configuration area with a bunch of different settings that you can tweak. And this is just going to take you through the basics. So walk through each one of these. Um, it'll explain what this, um, what this field means so you can understand what settings you're changing. And just walk through each one of these settings and get them set up for your business. So you'll see you'll be doing things like setting up sales territories to determine how you group your customer accounts, things like that. And the one kind of side note to remember is just make sure to decide on whether you want to store data in the contacts app or in the customers app before setting all these settings because it's much easier just to get them right the first time. Now, once you get out of the customers and the contacts, you'll be able to go through the leads and the opportunities. And once again, it's all the same thing, just setting up all these different fields. Now, the biggest thing to remember is don't get too caught up on making it perfect the first time because you can always come back and change these settings later. And there's tons of information and advice on how to properly choose these settings out on our Aptivo website. But that's not exactly what we're going to be doing today. I just want to show you exactly how to run through the process and get set up quickly. So the last setting I want to give special attention to is the access control. And this is one thing to ask about your business. So what these settings do is, let's say you have a couple salespeople in your company and you don't want the salespeople to be able to see each other's customer accounts or each other's sales leads. And that's exactly what data level access is for, where in each of these apps, I can choose whether I want to enable the data level access by selecting specific employees. And um, that means that they have to be assigned a lead in order to see it, or you have to be in a manager or an administrator in the firm in order to see that. So just decide what your company wants to do, and then we can hit finish. So at that point, it just shows us each one of the apps, and we can go ahead and get started. But we're not quite ready to start using the system yet. We've kind of set up some basic configuration, but we're still not even done there. Now. The first place to start is almost always going to be in the customers app because you need to get that customer database in there. I know a lot of you probably have Excel spreadsheets or maybe you have your data in another system. So the first step you want to do is we've already set up the basic settings which are available in this little gear icon in the upper right hand corner. But beyond the basic settings, we also want to set up um, any more advanced settings. So such as the custom attributes, which is available um, inside of right here, we can actually build our own fields on top of what's available in Aptivo by default. So right here, for example, I could create a two column section called contract details. And I could put in like a text field. So I could say contract type. And basically I can build all these different fields that I want to set it up and personalize it for my business, depending on the data that I need to store but it's important to get this set up before you bring your data into the system so you can actually put your data into these fields. So let's say I've gone through each one of my apps, my customers, contacts, leads, and opportunities. I've put them in all the settings and I set up all my custom attributes. Now what I need to do is I need to get all that old data in here, which is perfect because we have a CSV import tool for you to use. 
So you'll notice in these apps, what you want to do is you want to start off in the customers app and then if you have contacts, you upload the contacts afterwards. And it's just very important because when you're uploading, there's a field on the contacts called the uh, customer name. And if you type in the customer name that you've already uploaded into the customers app, it'll actually automatically link them together. So that's why you want to start with the customer first, get it in there, and then everything is going to build on top of that customer. So from here, we don't even need a template. All you have to do is browse your computer. You can pull up a ZS CSV file, and it'll allow you to choose which columns in your spreadsheet go to which fields in Aptivo. So it's pretty simple. It'll take a few moments for every upload, and you'll start off with customers, and then you would head over to the contacts app, upload your contacts, and you'd have all of your legacy data in there. So at that point, you're basically ready to get going with Aptivo. The last thing you would want to do is just kind of get a little bit of a better understanding about the process in the CRM. So I'll give you a couple leads to go off of uh, at the end of this video right here, just so you kind of know where to proceed from. So the first thing to understand is the sales process inside of Aptivo and it's all going to originate with the lead. So if you have any potential lead lists or uh, sales deals already on the table, you want to come to the Leads app and you put them in here. And when you have a lead in your system, you can actually convert a lead to the next stage of the sales process, which is a key component of Aptivo. It's you can move through processes and transfer data and el eliminate the duplicate data that you might have to enter elsewhere. So you'll start off with these leads and then they convert into a contact, a customer, and an opportunity and then that opportunity can move on to the next phase and that's where you can start getting into uh, all these different modules of the Aptivo software and you'll really start learning about the configuration. But for today's lesson, that's it. That's how you can get online, get set up with the CRM, and if you need any additional help, what you want to do is just go to Aptivo.com and you can click on this answers link up in our header. And we have complete details on how to get set up with your CRM system in here. So you can just type in stuff as such as like converting a lead and you'll see that the relevant results are going to come right up at the top, teach you everything you need to know. So, for today, that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.